chase for me is to be involved in the Premiership. Since a young age, it's all I've ever wanted to do in football is to help lead my side I play and to win a flag. Throughout history, there's always been great leaders who never had a title. You don't need a title. It will never, ever change the way I behave as a footballer. The surprise appointment of Taylor Walker as captain in 2015 and some honest feedback from coach Phil Walsh left Sloan in no doubt about what he needed to do. I still remember the chat I had with Phil when he told me Tex was going to be captain and my first thought was how pumped I was for Tex. So that was the first reaction. The second reaction was, all right, what do I need to improve on? Why wasn't it me? Phil had a chat to Rory about improving his leadership and the room that he needed to improve was his game day feedback. When you need to tell them sometimes what they don't want to hear in, in a short amount of time, in the heat of the battle on the over where you can't mix your words, you've got to tell them straight to the point and Rory's getting better at that. It was the demand on other players, it was giving feedback to guys, holding coaches accountable. He wanted to see more of that from me. That's still the area that I'll keep wanting to get better at. Rory Sloan can wind up. They need him to stand up here and now and kick a goal. When Phil passed away, I think reality really set in the next week or two afterwards. People would have thought it's fair enough if they just drop away and peter out in 2015, but they didn't. They, they won a final and gained a lot of respect. It was unbelievable the stories guys shared either about Phil or about how they were feeling at the time. And that certainly created a, a stronger bond between this group. At the end of 2015, Adelaide's best player, Patrick Dangerfield, left for Geelong. Another blow in a challenging year for the club. Twelve months later, Rory Sloan was All-Australian, best and fairest, and fourth in the Brownlow medal. The Crows found their A-grader. Coming over here, same year together, I think we'd watch each other train, we'd see each other's improvement. Whether knowing it or not, I look back at it, we constantly wanted to be as good as each other and, and try and match each other. I know that's certainly how I felt. I always wanted to be as good as Pat. Oh, absolutely no doubt that Rory would have been striving for credibility when, when Danger left because Danger is a big personality and it's hard not to be in his shadow. He was certainly a big part of why I wanted to be successful. Don't underestimate uh, what's inside Rory Sloan. He is a competitive animal and that's why he plays the way he does and he would want to leave his own mark on the Adelaide Football Club and his own mark within the competition. For Adelaide and Sloan, these are exciting times. All the big names involved in all the big plays. The team has occupied the top rung on the ladder more than any other side so far in 2017. The Crows' time is now. This group we've got now, we've been playing together for around about the last five or six years all together. We now understand how each other plays and we've seen some real benefits of that. I think the chase for Rory is pretty simple now. He wants to be the best leader he possibly can be and he wants to be the best player he can be. Just the feeling around the footy club and I see it more and more with guys now, they're starting to really want it, not just hope for it. The players went through a lot. They've come out the other side and I think they've got an incredible bond that they can draw on in big games. So let's go to that next step and try and have some success in finals.